Heart of the Father Ministries teaches freedom in Christ in an incredibly personal way in over 15 countries worldwide. To understand this profound ministry, we first must have a common language. Heart of the Father Ministries presents the New Dictionary of Freedom. I want to be set free. I want to stop protecting myself from feeling. I want to feel. That's good. And it's already starting. Right. I've, I've done a lot of crying this weekend, which has been a real blessing. And I was thinking about uh, my dad and a great fear of being wrong, because if you were wrong, if you did something wrong or answered wrong incorrectly, there was anger that followed. So. And you talked about fear of anger, fear of conflict, and fear of being out of control. All three of those. So much of what we understand about deliverance is learned in a negative connotation, usually involving dark and scary manifestations. This is not the reality of the ministry of deliverance taught and practiced in the Unbound model. In the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, we read about the joy that the disciples had when they returned to Jesus, declaring that even the demons submit to us in your name. Jesus is described as being full of joy in the Holy Spirit. Today, in many parts of the church, the word deliverance provokes fear, suspicion, anything but joy. Something needs to change. The comment that we hear repeatedly is that the way that we minister to people is much different than they expected. They experience gentleness and compassion as we listen to their story and invite the love of God into their pain. Our focus is always on the person and never on evil spirits. Um, yeah, I guess the realization of that we can be free. Who, who knew? Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. Some people did. Yeah. Some people yeah. It makes me want to tell everybody, though. You know, it makes me think about how um, everybody, it, everybody's walking around with pain. You know, you think you're the only one, but it's, it's not. We're all in the same boat. You know, we can all be free. Heart of the Father Ministries presents another definition from the New Dictionary of Freedom. So much of what we understand about ourselves is based on our story, our perspective. Freedom allows us to view ourselves in the greater context of the story that God is telling. Freedom allows us to become sons and daughters and to take our rightful place and leave the bonds of slavery behind. Spiritual oppression is often experienced as heaviness. Many have lived so long under the weight of oppression that they think it is normal. Following Unbound Ministry, Many people experience an instantaneous sense of relief. It is not unusual to hear someone say, I feel lighter, I feel taller, I feel free. When you were praying and you were talking about the things that I put on the shelf, I could see like a little Hansel and Gretel house mm -hmm. and the little, little girl, me, putting things on the shelf. And then as, as you continue praying, I came outside as a little girl and was, and was all happy. And then when you got to the part about blessing me as a woman, I turned into a young woman, maybe, I don't know, 14, 15, in a long flowing dress, <laughs> just sort of flitting around the front yard of the Hansel and Gretel house.
cool open field that it's freedom. Thank you. There are five keys to being delivered and experiencing true freedom in Christ. These five keys are the centerpiece of the Heart of the Father ministry and will be life-changing in their application to your life. This is not just a conference or a set of teachings. This is a roadmap of transformation lived out in Neil and Janet's lives, presented in an accessible and life-changing way. I had the opportunity in the past week to read the book, Unbound. Not just read it, skim it through, but really read it and, and meditate on it and outline it. And uh, I really liked the whole approach and the five keys. And uh, coming to the conference for me has been um, just gaining experience and really seeing it worked out. And it's been wonderful. A greater sense of peace, a greater sense of the love of God for me, love of God for every single person. Um, Neil and Janet have a remarkable way of showing love in healing. I've been prayed over many other times before I came across um, the Unbound book. Not to be so focused on uh, the devil, what the devil's doing, but to realize who I am in Christ, my identity, has been such a gift. <laughs> this is like the best experience that I have ever had in any church conference. You walk in one way and you definitely leave another. I want to see my church uh, get free. If everybody takes care of their their lives and their life, how, how much more free we can be to, to do what God's calling us to do, not only as individuals, but as, but as a group. I mean, there's power in numbers. I just look, look forward to seeing what's going to happen in our community. of freedom and deliverance demonstrated and taught from their own lives in over 15 nations around the world. Neil and Janet invite you to live a life inside the Father's heart.